So here at Houston Methodist Hospital, we actually started essentially from day one with genome sequencing of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. And by day one, I mean we had our first case approximately March 1 of 2020. We decided that we were going to aggressively sequence the genome of every SARS-CoV-2 virus recovered from a COVID-19 patient at Houston Methodist. I'm Jim Musser. I'm the uh, chair of the Department of Pathology and Genomic Medicine at Houston Methodist Hospital. Well, we do uh, genome mapping or genome sequencing on SARS-CoV-2, the virus, uh, for several reasons. One of the crucial reasons is that it gives us the ability to map the spread of the virus geographically and between person and person. We can by looking at particular subtle genetic changes, we can infer who has spread to who, the patterns of spread in Houston, and for that matter, the patterns of spread throughout the world. That's one crucial reason. The second reason that we map the SARS-CoV-2 genome is to look for so-called variants. You've heard about the variants of concern or the variants of interest. And that's just a fancy name given to particular little subpopulations of the virus that have special qualities uh, that we need to keep our eye on. Some uh, little subtypes of SARS-CoV-2 are of increased virulence. And obviously, if that's the case, we wanna be able to carefully keep our eye on those variants to understand how they're affecting patients a third reason that we do uh, genome mapping on the SARS-CoV-2 is to look for these little polymorphisms, these changes, these mutations that then result or may result in the ability of the virus to escape from immunization. We want to be able to fully understand if there are these variants that may escape immunization or otherwise uh, have the ability to have special features that we really don't want uh, a virus to have. In the case of the B117 variant, fortunately, although it's spreading rapidly from person to person here in metropolitan Houston, that variant is, is totally susceptible to vaccination with all of the vaccines that are being used right now the Pfizer vaccine, the Moderna vaccine, and the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. That is to say, uh, individuals who receive vaccine, they're able to fight off that B117 variant just fine. We know how to control some aspects of this virus, and we've got to keep doing those things. Those are crucial. In the meantime, we've got to get everyone vaccinated.